Hey, here to do a quick video today on the 12 volt system of my cooler. It's plugged in right now at 120 volts and it can also accept 12 volts. I'll show you real quick. There's two plugs. I don't know if you can see them both. The top plug is 120, which is plugged into the wall right now. The bottom one is 12 volts. What this comes with is a cigarette plug like this right here. See if I can disconnect it. Like that right there, plugged in. They don't work as good as I'd like them to, so I got rid of it. So now I don't have that plug anymore. What you would do before is just plug it in and it would turn right on. Now I've got a switch. I got a switch. I got this from Harbor Freight. It's called a battery disconnect switch. I mount it right to the side here, right here. And all I gotta do is put my little key in here and turn it on. And there it is, friends. It's turned on and it's running. To shut it off, I just do that and the key comes right out. I'm out of the car right now. These are my two batteries right here. I'll show you how I got the switch mounted. This is my switch for 12 volts. These are leads from the welding section at Harbor Freight, just with heat shrink tubing on it. Uh, it's mounted, it's not going anywhere, and it, it's definitely protected. You're gonna wanna make double sure here. Hopefully you can see this right here. It's fused, my hot side, my 12 volt sides is fused. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that yours is fused as well if you end up going to this setup. It works and works well. I may end up getting bigger batteries. These batteries are a few years old that I have, so I'll need to upgrade them eventually, but that's pretty much it. 